We're working with the yes, no cards today. Denise Meddy yes, will not give up trying to get a response from her 23-year-old son, Evan, who suffered a traumatic brain injury in Iraq two years ago. On a good day, he will blink an eye or move his thumb. She says her once strapping son is doing better since she brought him to the Kessler Institute for Rehabilitation in New Jersey. Initially, his prognosis was he would be in a vegetative state for the rest of his life. He would never swallow on his own. He would never breathe on his own. Good, Bob. Come on. Now there's more hope for patients like Evan, who are in what's called a minimally conscious state. Devastating, but not as severe as a coma or vegetative state. The journal Nature reports today on the first attempt at using deep brain stimulation to arouse a patient with this condition. A 38-year-old man, brain damaged after an attack six years ago, had electrodes surgically implanted in his head to try to jumpstart his brain function. Results were almost immediate. The patient recovered the ability to speak single words and identify pictures and complete sentences. The patient is still severely impaired, but making progress, according to his mother. Don't give up. There is hope. After the procedure was over with, I, I'm going to cry. My son can now he speak, watch a movie without falling asleep. He can drink from a cup. He can express pain. He can cry, and he can laugh. A similar technique has already been used to help Parkinson's patients. Today's news involves just one patient, so doctors are looking to test this procedure on other traumatically brain-injured patients to see just how well it works. Still, it's another reason for Denise Meddy to hope she'll find her son again. Don, you have your attention? Yeah? Because I see in Evan that he is there, I'm not going to take no for an answer. And so I push to get him everything that he deserves. That was Dr. John LePook reporting.